Hi Leo, welcome to your general love reading for mid-August to the end of August 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs or you can book a personal reading. Alright, let's see. What is the overall energy for Leo? We have compromise. Okay, so possibly a compromise is needed or somebody wants to compromise with you. Let's get into this and see what this is about. Because Obviously, when a, in every relationship, a compromise or compromises are needed okay, to some extent. So let's see, what is this about for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? And do you keep in mind that the roles can be reversed? All right, second half of October. All right, Leo. So for the situation, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse, crossed by the Four of Wands. Huh. Somebody could possibly be having a hard time walking away um, from a particular situation that they feel is kind of something that there's a commitment towards or something that is really holding them together or at least that's how it is perceived like that that is their foundation but because this four of wands is in the challenge position um, I'm actually wondering whether that situation actually is as stable as they think so, and it could even be for some of them or for some of you, okay, because this could be you or your person, um, that somebody actually went back to a particular um, situation here. Let me just get the rest of them. Okay, recent past, near future, your energy, here, their energy, your energy as well their energy as well as the potential outcome. Okay, so Leo. For the recent past, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So it feels like somebody, yeah, it's almost like this energy of um, either giving up <clears throat> on the connection or on give, giving up on putting in some kind of effort here when it comes to walking away. So I don't know where the compromise comes into play here, but there's definitely possibly that could even be the compromise for some of you, okay? Having to walk away from another commitment, it does not have to be a relationship, okay? This could definitely be like a job or some other kind of activity where there is a strong sense of commitment. Um, I'm also getting that whatever it is here in the recent past, it could even be that somebody has been focusing, just having like scattered, a scattered focus when it comes to what it is that they put put effort into. So it could be that whoever this is, their, their um, energy is kind of like all over the place, focused here, 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 and here, therefore they cannot really focus on anything, including the connection with you. Or at least when it comes to putting in effort in order for there to be this compromise. So for you, we have the Knight of Pentacles as well as the Ace of Cups. Okay, so I feel like you're just trying to take this day by day. You're still putting in some kind of effort here. You're moving slowly. Um, just trying to really keep your own balance because you do hold a lot of love for this person and you do want this to work. So we'll see more when we clarify what that Knight of Pentacles actually is about. For them, we have the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So this person is really seeing you as somebody very desirable. This is um, a connection that they would want with you. All right, I feel like there's also a lot of passion here. However, it's like they're kind of sneaking away from it. But this is like, it's also sneaking away from their own desires, sneaking away from what it is that they actually want. And it's not necessarily that they're doing it on purpose, but it could be like a form of escapism or just trying to kind of avoid something here. I do see that shifting a little bit here in the near future with the Knight of Cups. So this could be some kind of offer coming in or some kind of an emotional expression or this person trying to be a little bit more sweet, charming. 
Um, it could be communication for some of you, but then for the potential outcome, we do have the Page of Swords in reverse. So I feel like, you know, this is like a precaution to be a little bit wary of the type of communication that you might have with this person. So this is a little bit similar to Aries, actually, in some aspects. All right, Leo, so let's see. What is going on here? Let's clarify this Eight of Cups in reverse with the Four of Wands. All right, we have the Nine of Swords and we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. All right, so whoever it is that is not taking action, whoever it is that is not moving in the direction that they wanna to move towards, whoever it is that possibly, again, I'm getting with this Knight of Wands being in reverse, that somebody began taking action just to go back on it. And this is the aspect that's actually reminding me of the Aries reading. Um, whoever that is, it's creating a lot of stress for them because somebody is moving actually away from what it is that they want, right, with this. And it could even be that this person right, with the Eight of Cups being in reverse and the Four of Wands, is actually um, moving away from this, from what it is that they want, from, from what it is that would truly give them this stability. And I feel like this person may have been moving towards this only to take it back. But, and that's going to be for some of you. At the very least, there was a lot of thinking about that, okay, like that was on this person's mind. Um, but there wasn't any action on it or they just went back to what it was that they were doing before which is why we have the seven of swords all right so because i'm getting that this has to do with your person um it's coming in also with like a bit of instability like this person being in and out um so you may have seen some kind of i just had the empress um, fall out as well. So this person is definitely seeing you as this person, right? As I said before with the Queen of Wands, somebody who's very desirable, This you are the person that they would want to be with. But it, I'm getting like there has been a return to something. There has been a return to some other commitment here. This person begins taking action only to go back and that that's what's throwing them in this nine of swords energy so it could be creating a lot of stress for them a lot of anxiety and a lot of pain let's see the knight of pentacles for you and we will see more about them when we get to their energy oh okay we have the eight of pentacles showing up in reverse for you, okay, which is what we had in the past energy as well as the devil. All right, Leo. <clears throat> All right, so here's what I'm getting for you. Um, okay, we are clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, which is upright, okay? It's not in reverse because I know these two cards here together, they're representing something not so positive. So what's going on here is that you have been in a space where you possibly just gave up, but I feel like you gave up not just on the connection, okay, because that's that's fine, you know, if this person is not coming around, well then, you know, yes, giving up on the connection might actually serve you. However, I feel like you gave up on other things in your life as well, okay, and this is what you are trying to get back on track for, okay, so... I feel like your energy, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here, it's that you just kind of gave up on, on your life, basically. Um, I know that sounds a little bit heavy, just <laughs> you don't have to take it so literally. Um, it's like you gave up on other things or on putting an effort when it comes to other things in your life. And that's because, you know, you the, there may have been some kind of a deep attachment that you had to this person or to the outcome that you wanted with this person, this compromise, you wanted there to be to be a specific compromise that maybe this person was not ready um, to make. And I see you trying to get back on your path here slowly, like I said, step by step, you know, day by day, just trying to 
recover and, and come back to your own self and also coming back to trusting in this process and trusting your own self and trusting the universe, trusting your higher self that there has to be a bigger plan here that you cannot see. All right, so clarifying this Ace of Cups, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, you know, there's, a, like I said, there's a lot of love for this person, but it's like, there's no stability here. And I feel like, you know, because you felt so, or you feel so intensely for this person, you have so much love for this person. Um, it was kind of beginning to get the best of you. And it was influencing the way that you take care of yourself, nurturing your own self, all right? We do have a lot of Pentacles, um, and earth energy showing up for you. So this is telling me, we also have Capricorn showing up here. Um, this is telling me that, you know, you possibly need to ground yourself a little bit more or this is what you are in the process of doing. I'm seeing it as a message to just, you know, encourage you to try to ground yourself as much as possible to take care of your physical body and of your physical environment. Like what is around you. You know, go out into nature possibly, you know, um, get in touch with nature. Do some grounding exercises. Um, take care of your, of your space, you know, your living space. Make sure you have everything that you need in order to be physically nurtured as well as emotionally nurtured. All right, so let's, Let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the Seven of Swords. King of Swords and Four of Pentacles. Well, King of Swords is in reverse. Um, yeah, so this person has been sneaking away from what it is that they want, right? Which is you here. Because they're having a hard time really being decisive really being determined it's almost like there's a stubbornness attached to them here where they're like nope you know i'm actually going to be determined in the other way to keep to keep avoiding because for whatever reason that um comforts them that soothes them to kind of keep away from really moving towards what it is that they want so it soothes them on on a superficial level, right, on the surface. But deep down, they, there's this nine of swords. There's this pain, there's stress. They have not fully let you go though, all right, with this four of pentacles and with that queen of wands. Let me clarify the queen of wands. The ace of swords. So there is clarity about how they see you, how they view you, what it is that they want. They're just trying to, it's almost like they don't, they don't feel like they can have it. I feel like this person is even underestimating their own potential here. Underestimating their own determinism and their own courage. And so it's easier for them, if we want to go, you know, um, deep psychologically here, it's easier for them to be determined to stay where they are, to, to um, put all their energy into this other commitment here that they've gone back to or that they have not moved from, than to have determinism to move towards what they want. So it's like it gives them this false sense of having determinism because they're staying in a place where it's creating anxiety, it's creating stress. So it does take strength to also stay in, in that place. And it just gives them this, this, this fake sense of, of determinism and of courage when actually it's quite the opposite. I do see this person though, um, having some kind of clarity here. So let's see, let's get another one here for that Queen of Wands. The Seven of Swords. Can't make this up, guys. Yeah, they're avoiding it. They know the truth, but they're avoiding it, you know? And there's only so long, it's only so long that you can continue to lie to yourself, right? I'm talking about the other person, unless the roles are reversed, obviously. Because um, it's, like it's like they know. They know. Look, it's like this person is looking back behind their shoulder, 
at you. Um, they're looking back behind their shoulder here as well. They know what it is that they're walking away from. They know exactly what it is that they're doing. They're just trying to kind of avoid it. But again, it, it cannot last forever, this kind of an energy. So let's see that Knight of Cups coming up in the near future because I do see that is a very different kind of an energy here showing up. All right, Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, okay, so I do see somebody coming in here. I do feel like it's this other person that we're talking about. It definitely could be somebody else, okay, for some of you. Um, but I'm mostly getting that it is this person, especially having the Six of Cups attached to it. This person is coming in, but not 100%, okay? Like, it's almost like the, the fruit is not ripe yet. I do, I do pick up on some kind of communication. I don't know how this communication will be expressed. I feel like um, with these two cards being in reverse here, I do feel like there will be some holding back, um, a little bit of um, this person not really like fully being open about how much they miss you or you know what it is exactly that they feel. And I feel like they won't have fully released this other situation here. But the intentions of them coming forward are not, are not bad. They're not negative. It's just that the, I feel like this person just is not 100% ready just yet when it comes to releasing whatever it is here from the past. So let's see. Fire signs. Oh, they, October is harsh, all right? Let me just tell you guys that. October is a harsh month, and it is going to um, have a lot of lessons for everybody, okay? Especially for those of you who are on a more spiritual path. Let's see that page of swords. This is not a forever ending um, or a forever and ever outcome or ending or anything. This is just part of what October um, is meant to teach you, okay? So clarifying the page of swords in reverse, we have the page of wands upright and the nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like somebody is really looking at what it is that they want here, all right, that wish fulfillment, but but not fully expressing it. So it's basically, this is confirming to me what I said before about this person coming in. So there is communication, but this person I feel is not 100% ready to compromise just yet, whatever it is that they need to um, compromise here, whatever it is that they need to release, whatever this other commitment is. I do see that gradually they are um, moving closer and closer to that truth, all right, with that Ace of Swords here. The intentions are there, right? The love is there, the emotions are there, but I feel like they're just not ready to 100% commit to their to their wish fulfillment, just for for now at least, okay? This is, like I said, it's not a forever and ever reading, okay? It's, it's um, very short term, actually. All right, so Leo. All right, we have the Gibbous Moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. Like I said, this is a process. This is um, just a month of learning a lot of lessons, um, actions needing to be in alignment with our wants. Okay, so whatever it is that you're moving towards, you're very close to achieving that goal. Okay, and this is also going to apply to your person as well. They're very close to that. It's just um, taking a little bit of time here. Okay, that's all. But we do have the Page of Wands up right here. So they are looking at that. They are taking baby steps in that direction. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it at that. Those were your messages. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.